If you're looking to get into hiking, then you probably want some beginner tips, tricks, and ideas for your next hiking trip. I'm here to share a lot of the things that I've learned along the way, spending a lot of time outside hiking and camping in a lot of different places. There's no need to ride this struggle bus and figure this out all on your own. There are other people out here who can share their words of advice with you, and that's what I want to do. Tip number one, plan to time your hike out so that you're gonna be back to your vehicle, to where you started the hike, or you're gonna arrive at the campsite that you're camping at that night long before dark. Usually a hike will take longer than expected. You might get lost, you might uh, just move more slowly than you anticipated. It's always better to arrive early rather than late. You never wanna be hiking at night when you're trying to get somewhere, especially if you're new to the area or new to hiking. Tip number two is to know the local critters. If there are snakes you need to know about, spiders you need to know about, or animals like grizzly bears, be prepared ahead of time for what you would do in a situation that you needed help or even if you didn't need help if you wanted to go to the doctor just to make sure you didn't need help from a bug, bug bite or something like that just have a plan in place if there are more people than just you going hiking then make sure everybody knows the plan as well in my opinion there's no need to be afraid of seeing different critters along the way as long as you're prepared and have good advice from other local people in that area on what to do in an event of coming across one of those critters the third tip that I have for you is to enjoy the hike. Oftentimes, especially when you start hiking, you want to get to the destination. You want to get to the peak, the lookout, the waterfall, the end of the trail, or finish the loop. It really is about the experience. So take the time to chill, relax, find a nice little spot to sit, take in the view, take in the waterfall, go down the trails that look kind of cool, the little spurs and things like that. You're probably gonna see more wildlife that way. One of my favorite hikes has a bunch of little spur trails off of it and I always go down all of them because I've seen a lot of moose on that trail that I wouldn't see if I just went to the destination and then back to my car. What to bring on your first hike. I made a list here so that I can tell you a bunch of things that I thought of before making this video that I think are important to bring on your hiking trips. I like to bring a backpack and just put a bunch of this stuff in it and then just keep that backpack ready to go. So when I go hiking next time, it's just everything's in there. Still double check, make sure you didn't take anything out, whatever. You need a water bottle, that's very important. Bring a map, a GPS or a, or a satellite compass, satellite device. Uh, if you can bring all of them, definitely bring a map with a compass, even if you have a satellite device or plan on using your phone because those things die and you are gonna wanna back up. If you are gonna use your phone, make sure you screenshot the map before you start the hike or you download the map and screenshot it before you start the hike because you might not have cell phone service on the trail, especially if you get lost or whatever, you're gonna wanna have the map already downloaded. I like to wear wool socks when I'm hiking because they are great in the summer and the winter. I know a lot of people think wool and think winter, it's gonna be too warm in the summer, but they actually are nice in the summer because if your feet sweat, it pulls the moisture away from your feet. They're great insulators uh, and you're again, not going to have wet feet if your feet do sweat because it's gonna pull the moisture away from your foot. I like to bring hand sanitizer while I'm hiking because you might need to go to the bathroom. When you're going hiking, I recommend to bring loose fitting comfy clothes and to wear layers. So I like to have a bunch of layers so that I can add layers, subtract layers if need be so that I can be comfortable if it gets warmer than expected or colder than expected. If you're gonna be hiking somewhere during hunting season, wear something orange so that you are seen by hunting in the area. I also like to bring a lighter because if you do need to start a fire or you get lost or something happens, then you can start a fire and keep warm if you need to. It's like an emergency kind of thing, but it doesn't hurt to carry it, it's light. Bug spray is very important. Um, if you are going to be hiking in the summertime when there are a lot of bugs and you're like sensitive to bugs, make sure to bring that if that is something that your body will need. Bring a snack because when you're hiking, you need extra calories. If you get hungry, it's no fun to not have a snack. And if you bring a few different snacks, then if you get lost or are gonna be out longer than expected, you will have some nourishment along the way. Bring snacks that you actually like. If you don't like the snack at home, you're still not gonna like it when you're out hiking. <laughs> My next tip for you is to tell somebody or multiple people where you're going hiking, when you're coming back, and that you will let them know when you're back. So if you don't let them know when you're back, they need to try and contact you or 
let somebody know that you're not back and you're supposed to be. This is important if you're going on a short hike or a big hike or a day hike or especially an overnight. I mean, just let somebody know where you're going because otherwise if something happens, like small things can happen on small trips that kind of make a big deal and you might need help. And you're way more likely to be fine if somebody knows where you are. <laughs> if you're hiking with a group of people, not only letting them know the plan if you come across a critter, but also what your plan is for the day, where you're going, where you're gonna stop, how far you're gonna try and get to, is very important to talk about ahead of time because if you do get lost or you split up for some reason and somebody doesn't know like what camps that you're hiking to or which trail you're gonna go down when you get to some trail crossing, then that's really dangerous. And this seems obvious, but talk through the plan for your day, for your trip ahead of time, or right when you're starting out. And if you do split up, make sure you know where you're gonna meet up, when, and what the plan for the rest of the day is. What are you gonna do if you lose somebody? Are you gonna sit and wait for them? Are you gonna go back to the car? Make sure that those kind of things are talked about with the whole group. This next tip is something that I'm honestly not the best at. You should always check the weather before you go hiking. You never know when a rainstorm's gonna come in, or if you're hiking in the winter time, you never know when the temperatures are gonna plummet, or a snowstorm's gonna come and even if the snowstorm is gonna be after your hike like are you gonna have to drive through that pay attention to things like that so that you don't end up stuck out in the wilderness in your car or on a hike if you have specific questions about hiking or want any tips about specific things like having your period or things like that let me know in the comments I'll maybe make more videos or I'll just answer your question right there in the comments. if this video is helpful to you or you just enjoyed it for the sake of entertainment it would be much appreciated if you subscribe to my channel and like this video it really does mean a lot to me.